This is the New Balance Rebel V2, and here are my top three favorite things about it. One, how lightweight it is. Two, how responsive it is. And three, the overall fit. These are all things that are not normal in a shoe this light that's meant for going fast, and I can't wait to tell you all about it. What's going on guys? It's Brandon here with Roadrunner Sports. Thanks for tuning in for my review of the New Balance Rebel V2. So I ran in the first version of the shoe two years ago and I was so happy when this new version came in because one, they completely redid the look but it's kept the same kind of edgy aesthetic that I liked about the first one. And two, it is just an absolute awesome shoe. I was totally surprised when I got it. Um, I wasn't expecting it. So to see this type of shoe and this type of performance come out of this shoe was really awesome. I'm gonna start with the technology aspects of it first and then I'll go into how it performed overall. So tech-wise, we have a breathable, breathable mesh. As you can see up front, look, you can see through. So when your foot's in there, you can like see your sock. It is extremely breathable, which is great, especially for a fast shoe. Uh, you don't want a ton in the overlay. So you have a ton of security here where, the, where your toe goes to. So you're not gonna have any problems of your toe poking out. Essentially, it's a different material here where your toe is, which is normally where you're jamming into the front of it. Um, so I think that was a really great design choice that they made. Two, the heel fit of the shoe is just awesome. I mean, it's not super rigid. I mean, it's a lightweight shoe. It's meant for going fast and the heel does maintain some rigidity. So it helped me, it helped me stay locked in, which was really good. Um, the upper, this is one thing that totally surprised me about the shoe because typically when you get a shoe that's this lightweight, you don't get an upper with this much structure. As you can see, it's not like completely falling down on itself, which is something that happens on a ton of other shoes that are really lightweight. Um, which isn't a huge problem or a huge benefit. I just think it's very surprising that they were able to pull that off with something like this. So you do have some structure to the upper, which is done with a lot of these overlays. And here with the, uh, where the laces tie in near the, the eyelets, um, there is a bit of structure, which helps keep the shoe up. Throughout the mesh, you also have these lateral lines that add support throughout the shoe that just continue to give you that structure in the upper. So you can go fast, you can take corners on the shoe and it's not gonna give you any problems. And speaking of taking corners, let's get back to the version one of the shoe. So V1 of the shoe had a huge kind of wedge here in the forefoot, which was kind of like the big technology disruptor for the shoe. And it was meant for taking corners, going fast, because this is a fast shoe. You don't want to slow down when you take your corners, obviously. And I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. Let the scientists be right here and assume that they did the testing and said, hey, we actually found that you get better returns if the wedge is down here on the shoe and not up in the forefoot. So uh, for me personally, I found that when I'm on my forefoot, I actually have enough, uh, I have enough grip I have enough grip on the forefoot when I'm taking turns that when I'm on my toes, I can kind of pivot and I don't really need to hit the wedge. But when you're slowing down and you do take the corners, having the wedge here in the midfoot is actually more beneficial, I think, than having it in the forefoot. So this is just one of those version two upgrades that they've made to the shoe that give it an overall better performance um, and make it just that much better of a shoe. Another thing that makes this a better shoe, by the way, is I think just the aesthetic of it. This just looks like a super sleek shoe. I really, really like wearing it. I feel fast in it. I feel like this is the type of shoe that Spider-Man would wear. I like using that analogy because he's just like that spandex superhero who's flying around. So getting back to the upper, we have some of my favorite type of laces. They're flat lay, they're not the tubular ones that, I, I don't know, I just don't like them. I like the flat lay laces. It has a very, very skinny tongue and it's not disruptive at all. Um, it is not completely tied down on both sides. So you can have some wiggle, especially when you're putting your shoe on. So just make sure to tie it down. It's not really a big deal. So moving into the midsole of the shoe, you kind of have the bread and butter. This foam is ridiculous. When you're just walking around, you feel like you're on a springboard, like at a gymnastics center. You're just kind of like bouncing all over the place. But when you're running with this shoe, specifically because it's made for being speedy, you're gonna be on your forefoot and it's gonna be really, really responsive. I'll get into the real world application of this later, but overall, you're gonna put your foot into the shoe and it's gonna just completely wow you. It's awesome. So moving into the outsole of the shoe, you see that they've chosen to forego the uh, the rubber here in the kind of middle of the foot because you're not really stepping there. You have it in the heel because obviously when you're slowing down, that's going to help you out. And you have it up here in your forefoot. It's really it's really um, 
It's really thin rubber, so it's pretty lightweight, but it's very durable and it gives you a lot of traction. So you're able to maneuver your way out on the course and it's not really a problem. I really just enjoy the overall ride of the shoe, but now let me tell you about the ride. So my first run in the shoe out of the box, I went on four miles, I just kind of booked it and I just absolutely loved it because you get the responsiveness in the forefoot and when you're slowing down, you're kind of like, you're gassed from your long run. You don't, your feet don't immediately hurt because you have this amazing cushion that really just helps you just feel like you're on that springboard like I was saying earlier. Um, the problem with this type of midsole is if you're taking the shoe on the type of runs that's not really meant for, which is a longer run. This morning, I put in eight more miles on this shoe, and I gotta tell you, by the end of the run, my feet were hurting a little bit, just because this shoe isn't meant to go eight miles. This shoe is meant to be a fast shoe, a speedy shoe. This is meant to break your 5K records. This shoe is just meant to be your speed day shoe. Um, and the appearance totally gives you that vibe too. So I would say when it comes to the appearance of the shoe, also don't be intimidated that it looks like a super fast racing shoe, because it, while it can be, this is totally meant to be your speed day lineup shoe as well as your race day shoe this gives me the vibe of like track spikes which give me that really fast feeling but overall the level of cushion in this shoe doesn't give you um, the ability to really put the burners on that you would with uh, some track spikes so this shoe is meant for your fast workouts and definitely use this shoe for what it's meant for which is fast quick I found a really good sweet spot, which is about five to six miles in this shoe where I could turn up the pace a little bit, but not so much to the level where I'm really, really getting after it. And the shoe completely performed beyond my expectations. I would use this for uh, short runs. I would use this for fast runs. If you're a runner who tends to shuffle their feet, I, I wouldn't get this shoe. If you're a runner who drives your knees and pumps your arms when you're running and you're really getting after it, this is gonna be the perfect shoe for you. You might wanna look down at the shoes you're wearing right now and ask yourself why you're not wearing these shoes. Um, overall, this shoe is super, super comfortable. The ergonomics of the shoe feel great on foot. I feel like I can wear the shoe for hours and hours because it's not so tight. And that's what I was saying earlier in the video where it gives you that track spike feel where you're gonna be fast, but you're gonna have the cushion and you're gonna have the comfort of the shoe with a really good fit that's gonna allow you to wear the shoe throughout the day, go on a really fast run, and overall be really, really happy with the shoe. So if you wanna check this shoe out, go ahead and sign up for Roadrunner Sports VIP. You get 90 days to test run this shoe from the day you purchase it, wear it, love it, doesn't matter. If you don't like it, send it back to us and we'll get you a better pair that fits your needs. And if you join our VIP, you get free shipping on every single online order you do. So go ahead, try it out. There's no risk. Uh, send the shoe back if you don't like it and we'll get you a better one that fits your needs. All right, guys, it's Brandon with Roadrunner Sports and I'll see you on the road.